Hey guys, so for this makeup tutorial I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Toasty Toffee and this just creates a really nice flawless base. I've already moisturised my skin and I did colour correct around my mouth area and all products will be listed in the info box and I'm just using a big fat kabuki kind of brush to buff in my foundation. It just comes off eBay or Amazon. Um, and then for concealer I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42 and I'm just going to be dabbing this on with my finger and then using my beauty blender to blend it all out. Then to set in that concealer I'm going to be grabbing the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and using the yellow powder in this palette to set my concealer and you guys know I absolutely love this palette I'd already have a review for this one so if you guys want to check that out I'll link it in the info box but it's a really good affordable palette and then for bronzer I'm using the Bobbi Brown bronzer in deep and I'm just making sure to warm up my skin with this and also applying it on the perimeter of my face mostly and on my jawline and down my neck For blush today I'm going to be using the NYX blush in Intuition and this acts a bit of a highlighter so it's like a 2 in 1 product but it's super subtle and pretty even though I don't really wear blush that much but if you're not a blush person this is a good way to kind of wear it and use it as a highlighter as well but you know me I will use some highlighter still so I'm using the MAC uh, mineralized skin finish in global glow and then setting all my base makeup with a bunch of um, smashbox primer water i used a lot but it just makes your skin look so soft so i thought i would show you guys my brows today and i really don't show it because i do have a brow tutorial on my channel but um every now and then i think i'll just add it in i am using the smashbox brow tech matte pencil and this pencil is really good it just makes doing your brows so easy and it looks really natural as well not like too drawn in but the thing that's uh, you have to be careful with this one is that it's super pigmented so you don't really th need that much i'm also cleaning the under bit with the nyx gotcha covered concealer in golden it's really good to clean up your brows and then to set my brows i just use the estee lauder brow now volumizing brow tint in dark brunette for my eye base, I'm going to be using the same concealer that I use, so the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is a really good base as well. And then for the eyeshadow, I'm using the 35O palette by Morphe Brushes. I first used the plain white shade to set the concealer and then I'm using my favourite colour in the palette. It's, I don't know how to describe them but I did point them out in the picture, but it's such a nice like sandy taupey kind of color i don't know how to explain it but i use that in my crease and then i use a warm brown in the outer corner of my eye and then i went for a nice bronzy color from the palette which i did put the x on and i use this on the inner and center of the lid mostly i also did grab my makeup revolution eyeshadow in Mm, that's what it's called it's just got four m's it's such a weird name but um i just use this to create a liner because i saw i saw on her snapchat that she likes to create a smoky eyeliner kind of thing with darker shadows so i thought i'll do this in this tutorial and you need to be patient with this just keep adding layers and you'll see it slowly get dark and then for mascara i'm using the maybelline lash sensational mascara in intense black you guys know i love this mascara and I just added a bunch of layers and then I used the same shadow that I used for the liner, the Makeup Revolution one. And I just smoked out my lower lash line. And then of course I'm going to be adding some mascara on my lower lashes as well. And then I went on to my lips. For my lips I've been using the Primark Lip Pencil in... I'm not too sure of the, I think it's dusty pink, but I will write it down in the info box. I just lined my lips with this. I did kind of overline them because obviously Kylie Jenner has big lips. And then for the lipstick, I just went for MAC Taupe. And oh my God, this is such a nice shade for darker skin. It's like the perfect nude. Um, and I just put a bunch of this on my lips. It just looks so, so nice. 
Um, and also for the faux freckles, I did use um, a Rimmel eyebrow pencil. I write the shade in the info box. I'm not too sure about it right now. Um, but what you need to do with this is just that you need to lightly dot it in random places. Don't try to be, um, don't plan it out. Just randomly draw dots on your skin and it will look really, really natural. Wherever you do harsh dots, just tap it down like as you can see here. And you want to put a bit on your nose and around your cheek area because Kylie Jenner has a bunch of freckles and I'm obsessed with freckles but I don't have any but um, I just think they look so pretty so I thought I'd add this into this look because obviously she has them and a lot of people are doing faux freckles <laughs> at the moment. Um, but as you can see it looks super natural and I really like it. So there you go, that's how you get the Kylie Jenner full on glam makeup look and also some faux freckles if you like that kind of look. I hope you guys like this tutorial, thank you for watching and I will see you next time, bye!